Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we are over at the flea market. And if I'm gonna be honest, we haven't been here in a while, so it should be a lot of fun to see what new figures they've got. And I guess let's go in and let's get started. All right, now the first thing we ran into isn't even a Funko Pop. I ran into some Funko Plush. Actually, I don't even know if these ones are Funko Plush because Noah was letting me know that before they used to just do like random companies. And I'm seeing this one might be Funko. It's got the newer Five Nights at Freddy's logo, but then these ones here are a little bit funky, but I still really enjoy seeing them. And I just checked the tag on the marionette and it looks like this one is a Funko one from 2016. So I think just for fun, let's grab it. Then over at the same booth, guys, I was looking through a lot of their kind of like smaller miniature figures. And I really am enjoying these Simpson ones, but then above Love that. Check it out, guys. A Pennywise Funko Pop. Pretty cool to see. Whenever we come, our friend Nate always wants me to look at the Lego. And it looks like over here we've got like Lego Minecraft Alex, which is pretty cool. And we've got some Technic ones. And then Noah pointed out this year the 40 Years Lego Train, which looks really great. Okay, so we're out of that first booth and we've been walking for a little while and we ran into this one over here, which we always have to check. Because I mean, come on, guys. Look at the amount of figures they've got. It's crazy. And now one spot that I always like to check, guys, is the Minions to see if there's any new ones that I might be missing. And in this section, I don't see much, but I was able to get this one today, the Evil Minion, which I'm definitely going to be adding to my collection. Oh, and something that I just noticed with these ones here, because they are the Comic-Con versions, and I don't know if I'm going to be getting them because the boxes do seem a little bit weathered, but on the back side here, check this out, it actually shows how they turned into purple minions. I had no clue this was here. And now, if you guys want to take a look at the horror section, because it is still pretty close to Halloween, there is a lot of cool figures here, like Buffy from Buffy. Ooh, my friend Luca would love that one. I don't know if I want to tell him that it's here, but then who probably watched the video would be mad at me that I didn't, so maybe I will. But um, Anyways, guys, yeah, there's seriously some amazing stuff here, like American Horror Story, Carrie, The Boys. And then down here, I noticed, check this one out, guys. We're going on the Minions train again. We've got some of the Halloween ones. you love to see it. Now, here is something you don't see very often, guys. The original sculpt Superman. And there's four of them together, all in different suits. I love it. And now, the next section I like to take a look at is the Star Wars one. To see if there's any blue box figures that I might not have in the collection. And it looks like, for the most part, I do. And I don't know if I have this Princess Leia Boosh which could be a fun one to get. But then again, the flea market has so many figures, I don't know if I'm gonna grab it today, but if you guys wanna take a look at the rest of them, there's some pretty interesting stuff going on here. Oh, and then just to the left of the Star Wars ones, they have a bunch of different versions of Batman, and I love to see these because I don't think I've seen many of these in person. Like, I have one of them, and if I'm gonna be honest, I have so many of them, it's hard to remember which one because they're all very similar. But I do really like seeing all four of them in person together, and if you guys wanna check it out, there's also the Funko Shop exclusive Batman up here as well as Catwoman, pretty neat. Now, Noah, what are we looking at over here? Oh. Nice, Good nice. Deal. Yeah, not bad. Five bucks. And they have a bunch of the Walking Dead ones. I know you and Emily have been watching the show. Yep. Cool. They're pretty good ones, too. Yeah. Who is it? We've got... Uh, Morgan, Daryl... Uh, what's that guy's name again? Carl? No. No. Glenn. That's Glenn. <laughs> Who, who's... Why am I thinking Carl? I don't know, Carl. I don't watch the show. <laughs> Anyway, then over here at the front of the same booth, guys, they've got a bunch of sodas, and I haven't seen a Duck Dodgers in a while, and they have two of them. Actually, they've got three of them. Mmm, I gotta get a couple. Now, Noah, normally I'm the one looking for pops, but you ran into something? Yeah, Reinhardt. Okay, yeah, now the box isn't in the best condition, but you could totally take that out, and I know with Overwatch 2 releasing, you've been playing a lot. Well, I mean, I I didn't get them when he first came out in, like, 2017 or whenever right. uh, the pops came out. I don't think they came out right away, but... A little bit uh, after. Yeah, well, there he is now. Mm. We got Winston, we got Roadhog, we got Arissa, we got Diva. And then I got the four pack Don't recently of them over at GameStop. True. So, could be cool to get. I do want it. It's pretty cool. Now, guys, the booth that we were just at opened up another booth across the aisle, and I've got to show you guys this. Well, actually, you can already see the background with all the Hot Wheels cars, but take a look at this. There's a bunch more Funko Pops. And also some stuff that I haven't seen in a long time, like this Funko stylized figure of Rocket and Groot, as well as some of their Rock Candy figures. Mom, they've got some vinyls, vinyls over here. Prince, nice. Do you have Prince Adam and Cringer? I believe I do. Mm. I know you have most of them. So many. Yeah, it would be do cool I have though. Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees? Maybe not. It's pretty close to Halloween. Could be fun to get. Um, but yeah, guys, taking a look at a bunch of stuff like the Dorbs over here. Wow, some stuff that you don't see very often. Vinyls for a lot. Are they worth that? Yeah, they're probably worth that much. I mean, they haven't been out for a long time, right? You should. You should. We should do your collection for another video. That could That's be fun. I like that. Idea. And now before we get out of here, if you guys want to check out this section of figures, there was some pretty interesting stuff going on. Let me know what you guys would have picked up. Now, everybody, we are coming up on the big Funko booth over here, and it looks like we ran into Dave. How's it going? And now the first section we've got to check out is their newer ones, or at least maybe figures that they got in that are newer. And no, it looks like they've got a bunch of the Walking Dead ones here as well. Um, I don't know how much they are. 
for like 20 bucks for Rick Grimes. That's not bad. And the box isn't in perfect condition, but to get it for practically retail, I mean, you can't complain. Yeah, I don't know how much they're worth, but it seems pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. And you can tell which ones are newer too, based off of like the 3D rendering oh, on the side yeah. versus the 2D. Yeah, yeah. So like this one here, Maggie, must be from the newer wave. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, and then over here to the left, take a look at this. The Universal Monsters Funkoverse. And this one here has the chase with the invisible man actually being invisible. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, this is the normal one. I mean, come on, that chase is sick. And then to the right over here, this is where their Disney figures are. And they always have a huge selection of them, like some that you don't see very often. Where did it go? I just saw her a second ago. I'm thinking of, aha, here it is. The one from Hocus Pocus. And we also have Eeyore and Tigger and Mickey Mouse and Stitch, like a lot of really great ones. Oh, Oh, and check this one out up here, guys. The Goofy Art Series where it's got his hat all over it. Pretty crazy. Wow, now take a look at this, guys. Most of the Jeffrey the Drafts, and a lot of these you can't even get at Toys R Us anymore, like Jeffrey is Iron Man I haven't seen in a long time, or the Superman version, or Batman for that fact. And then down over in this section, guys, we've got some of the Rocks figures, as well as a couple of the albums, and then above that, a bunch more of the Rocks ones. And then, oh, check this out, some of the retro toys, as well as ad icons. And now, of course, I've always got to take a look in the cabinet over here, and oh, this lounge fly bag is really cool. And I noticed Hagrid on the front there, which is definitely neat to see. Rest in peace, Robbie. Like seriously, this, mm, that's a really cool bag. And then looking around a little bit more, guys, we've got some more Harry Potter stuff, as well as Masters of the Universe. Is that Lippy the Lion and Hardy Har Har down at the bottom there? Those are pretty funny. And then we've got some more Harry Potter stuff over here. And then on this side, we've got like He-Man, as well as Ram Man, Hordark, as well as Faker Hordark? Hordak, maybe, I don't know. And then over on this side, here it is, guys, the crystal blue Heisenberg. I think I'm going for it today. Especially because of how crazy this figure is. And I know he's kind of hard to see, but if we buy him, we'll definitely be taking a bit of a closer look at him. Here, let me take it out of the cabinet, guys. And if you guys want to check it out, here it is. This is definitely going home with me today. And then on this yeah. side over here, guys, it looks like we've got some more Simpsons, as well as the That's Fifth cool. Element, Masters of the Universe again, the Boondock Saints, NBA with that DeMar DeRozan at 250. I mean, come on, that's crazy. And now, of course, I've got to take a look at the back wall here because there's sometimes figures that I don't have in the collection that maybe aren't worth that much, like 10 to 15 bucks, and I was thinking of picking them up. And the one that I noticed over here, actually, was this one, and I believe I have it, but it was a Loot Crate exclusive, and you don't see it very often, so I figured I might as well show it. And then besides the DC, as well as Marvel stuff down here, we've got some of the animation, as well as Pokemon and video games, like just some really interesting stuff. Oh, and then, of course, I've got to take a look at the Star Wars ones over here, and there's a bunch of blue box figures, but I think for the most part, I've got them. Like, I'm not seeing anything too crazy that's standing out. Like the R2B one's cool, but I do have him for sure. And then maybe up here, I don't have Bushley again. That might be the only one. Oh, now over in the cabinet here, guys, they've got some signed figures. And I don't know who signed this one, but that is a really crazy figure. And now just next door to Dave's booth, I ran into this over here. And you guys might not think that there's anything here that you guys would want to see, but then check this out, guys. They've got the specialty series Jiminy Cricket Dorp. Why is this here? Ran into another booth with a couple pops. And if you guys want to check it out, we've got like DJ Khaled over here, as well as one from Star Wars, the Forces of Evil, Aang, New York Comic Con, the Predator, and then up here, they have a few others as well, and it's actually $20 each or three for 50, which isn't too bad. And then in the same booth, they've got a Lego cabinet that I'd love to take a look at because there's some pretty interesting stuff in here usually, like this Spider-Man mech, as well as the bikini bottom bus. And then the one that I've really been looking at today is Hagrid's Hut and Buckbeak's Rescue. That's pretty cool. Now here's an interesting game that I want to play, and it's almost like I Spy, if you've ever seen those books before. I'm going to show you guys this cabinet and let me know, where's the Funko Pop? Now we were on our way out and I ran into this booth, guys, that has a bunch of Star Wars figures. And if you guys want to see which ones they have. They've got some blue boxes. Hammerhead is a really great one. Yang Nub's pretty cool. Kylo Ren Unmasked, exclusive to Walmart. I like that a lot. Then we've got both of the TIE Fighter pilots, and it's pretty cool to see them next to each other. Then we've got the First Order Flame Trooper and a bunch from Rogue One. Okay, so I didn't end up grabbing a lot of stuff, but what I did get was pretty crazy. And I guess we'll start with this here, the Five Nights at Freddy's plush that I picked up today of Marionette. I've actually seen a bunch of Five Nights at Freddy's plush at the booth that I picked this up at, but never really thought about grabbing any until today when I noticed that this one actually was a legit Five Nights at Freddy's one. And if somebody has any information on the other plush, because it looked like they were made by Funko, but they weren't, so maybe Five Nights at Freddy's was making them by themselves before? I'm not sure. And now if you guys want to take a bit of 
of a closer look at the marionette plush here it is and I am really enjoying it also it's kind of weird how it's got like this kind of like not leather but like it feels a little bit shinier face to almost look like a mask all right now let's get into this here guys the minion that I picked up today more specifically the evil minion definitely a cool one and now looking on the back here I have every single one of the figures from this set besides one and it's Agnes it's too bad that I don't have her but if I ever see her somewhere I will definitely be picking her up so I can complete it take a look Oh, and also, this is the first purple minion I've got in my collection. I believe there's also a Comic-Con exclusive where it's metallic, and then they had the two other ones, but the boxes weren't in great condition, so I skipped on them. Maybe next time, if I see them again, I'll pick them up, but for now, I decided to just go with this one because the box is in really nice condition. And now I gotta take this one out because it is just such a random character, and I believe this was in, yeah, Despicable Me 2. <laughs> Definitely a weird one. And now that we're on the topic of minions, I remember seeing Despicable Me 2 in theaters. It would have been, oh, I don't know. Let me see if there's a year on this. 2013? Yeah, I guess that sounds right. And this would have actually been before I started collecting pops because I started collecting them in 2014. So, wow, kind of crazy. Then the next thing that I grabbed was two Duck Dodger sodas. And I don't have any of this one in my collection, so I figured it'd be a fun one to grab. But before we open these up, I think you guys probably want to see the Heisenberg that I got today. So let me grab them here because this is just such an amazing pop. Oh, and while I was purchasing this one, I was talking to Dave a bit, and he said that a bunch of people were going by the booth trying to buy this one because I was trying to buy it, so if that was you, shame on you. I don't know, I'm being dramatic, but anyways, Dave, if you're watching, thank you so much for saving this for me, and now let's pop this thing out of the protector. I mean, I gotta take it out. Okay, everybody, here we go. The top is off. We are sliding it out. This is back in 2015 it released, and oh my gosh, I love how they changed the box to actually be crystal blue. It's some great detail. And then if you guys want to take a look on the side, there is a better shot of the entire character. Then on the back, this is the rest of the line that released at the same time. And now for anybody wondering, I was able to get this figure for $300. And we are going to be taking it out of the box because I want to see what this looks like. Let me see if I can pop it. There we go. Nice and flat. And wow, everybody. Here is the crystal blue Heisenberg. And I love that they left his hat and glasses as well as goatee black. I think it really does make the figure look nice. And now I'm kind of curious. Oh, here's his eyes are also black, and I know they're kind of hard to see. If you guys want to check it out, it's a little bit easier to look at him. I don't know if you can even see that. But still, such an amazing character, and definitely the top one that I wanted for my Breaking Bad set, so I'm so glad I was able to get it today, and I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for me to pick this one up, so finally I was able to grab it. Oh, and just recently I was talking about Clear Funko Pops, and this was one of the ones that I mentioned, so funny that I've got it now. All right, now with me having this great luck today on the Heisenberg, I'm thinking we're gonna do okay on the Duck Dodgers. And now the question is, which one do I open up first? And here's the thing, they're not gonna feel any heavier, at least the chase isn't gonna feel any heavier because I believe it's just metallic. And so I guess we could just crack into this one here to find out if we got that. And fingers crossed I get one of each, so I don't have to buy any more of these in the future. And let's see, um, this is the normal Duck Dodgers. But I gotta say, this one really does look nice. His feet are massive and like I mentioned earlier I don't have any of this one in my collection so I don't really care what I get. At least for the first one the second one is where it's going to be a little bit tricky because I do really want to get that chase one and it says here Duck Dodgers limited to one out of 6,700. So for a common kind of rare and now let's get into this next one here and by the way I paid $20 for each of these which here in Canada is pretty much retail. And so if I can get this off there we go let's find out if we got that chase. Fingers crossed I did and I can't tell yet can't tell yet can't tell yet Ah, it looks the same. I think so. Yeah, everybody, it looks like we got two commons on the Duck Dodgers. But anyways, guys, at least we were still able to get a new soda for today. It's just too bad we couldn't get both versions. And anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.